Hey everybody, welcome. I started doing some work already. Uh, today we're going to get that very pressed in, get the triple tree back in place, get the steering adjusted, get the forks in, um, and hopefully we'll have time to get the handlebars and stuff like that in. I don't know yet. So uh, let's get started on that and see how far we can get. triple tree or fork steering whatever you want to call it I'm gonna put the seal back down bearings gonna go on top we're gonna to have to somehow punch that bearing down in there I think I'm gonna use a brass punch and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap it on opposite sides and slide this back up through now we're going to get the bearing, top bearing, and start screwing it down. All right, folks, since I don't have the special BMW socket for this piece, I'm going to do this old school way. I'm going to tighten this as tight as it'll get. In other words, I'm going to collapse the, uh, the bearings inside, not over tighten it, but tighten it to where it's really snug. And to help prevent from scratching this up a little bit more than I've already done, I'm going to put a rag over it with a pair of pliers. So now we're just going to snug it up. Like I said, snug it up. 24 pounds is not a whole lot here. So when you think you got it to 24 pounds, just go about a quarter, an eighth of a turn more. All right. It should still turn. See that? It should still turn, but it's going to be really tight and you're going to feel it. It's going to be tight. Now the book says once you get up to 25 Newton meters, you're supposed to turn this back 60 degrees. I was going to do it old school, but to help you guys or gals out there that need some help, put a piece of tape on here and mark it one and five eighths inch away. If this helps you out, and I probably this will be more effective for you folks out there. All right, so before you mark this section here. Make sure it's turned all the way to the left because we're going to unscrew this. Put the tape lined up with this marking here. So we're going to go from here to here. And that should put you right in the ballpark of where it needs to be. Now feel it. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Personally, I'm going to go a little bit more because I think it needs a little bit more. And there we go. I'm very happy with that adjustment. See how I went a little bit past that? Just because from experience, I think it needed to be a loosened just a little bit more. And that feels really good. There's no play. And you can easily, with some difficulty... Not a whole lot of difficulty, just a little bit, because right now you don't have the forks and stuff in there. So it should be somewhat, uh, feel like it's snug. But anyway, that's the best way I can describe it to you. Now the counter tube to the steering head bearing. You're gonna put that in. And we're gonna need to talk that to 65 Newton meters. I have to actually go out and buy a tool kit, a socket, a special socket set for that because I didn't have anything that large and that's actually a 12 12 allen head metric so 65 newton meters on this is equal to about 48 foot pounds so to tighten this we gotta hold this from turning or we'll keep it from turning so it stays right where it's supposed to be and we're gonna tighten that Check it again, make sure everything feels good. All right, so now we're gonna put the top triple tree on. Just slides in there. We're gonna get the nut started. Don't tighten it down, just start it for now. Now we can put the forks back in there.
And just tighten that top screw just to hold them right there because we're going to fill these. Cap right here on top has to be pushed in. And there's a ring inside here that has to come off. Now be careful. There is some pressure behind this cap. The ring and the cap. All right, so the forks take 0.60 liters of oil, which is about just over 20 ounces of oil. I already measured it out. I'm just gonna pour it in there. Once you're all set, you're gonna put that cap back in. Get your tool, whatever you're using to push it down with, and pretty much put the ring back in. Make sure the ring goes into the groove and that's secure. I already did the other side. So they're both filled with 20 ounces of fluid on each side or 0.60 liters. Next thing to do is I gotta tighten that nut. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in to make sure they're the same on both sides. I'm using a flat edge or something with the flat edge. Pull the shock all the way up to it. And then we're gonna tighten it down. Snug it up, that's all we're doing here. Let's throw the covers back on here. Snug down this bolt just to hold this forks in place. Just to let you guys know, as I'm doing this, I am cleaning the uh, the parts as best as I can. And this is the fender that I painted flat black. Looks good, or mud guard, whatever you want to call it. So now we're gonna put that back together. I am Loctite every nut and bolt on this thing because I don't want it to come apart while I'm traveling. Don't know if the book calls for that or not, but I like to do that. I think the book I need calls for like three newton meters or five, which is nothing really. Just snug them down tight. Don't want to strip them, but you know what I'm saying. Now this goes back on the uh, bike. Just snug those down, and now we'll get the wheel on. All right, nothing's chalked, it's just tightened down, just so I can get those forks in and adjust it. I'm gonna push down on the front forks. Let them seat wherever they seat. We're going to go ahead and tighten all the bolts on the sides. 21 newton meters, which is uh, 16 foot pounds. So we're going to tighten these up. Fork stabilizer, same thing. It's calling for 21 newton meters. It's about 16 foot pounds. All right, so the triple tree is in, and that feels really good. What a difference compared to the uh, the old birds. Oh my God. I'm gonna wash this up a little bit here. Fantastic. As you all probably know, I can't stand a filthy motorcycle. That flat black came out really nice on that fender. I just hope it holds up. Look how big Chew is. Hey, buddy. Want to say hello? Speak. Come here. Come on. Don't be scared. Come on. It's wet. I know. You don't like wet floors. I know. What's up, buddy? Want to say hello to everybody out there in YouTube world? No? Okay. 
All right, to be honest with you, I had to shut the camera off and redo the forks because this wire was not in the right spot. So, <laughs> lesson learned, before you put the forks in or as you're putting the forks in, make sure all your wiring is in the right spot. You don't want to redo all that work. Oh boy, put that in backwards. These only go one way. Right now, I'm just going to tighten these down. Later on, we'll uh, adjust the uh, bar. Let's put some of the wiring back in place. Since dirt bike riding consists of mostly standing, let's see where I'm comfortable here. My hands should be straight and a bit forward of my shoulders. I don't want them down here where I'm leaning down. I want to be straight up or close to straight up as possible. It's a nice form straight down. I feel comfortable here. Now remember, I don't have the seat on the bike right now, so my hands are a little further down. If I had the seat on the bike, I'd be like this somewhere. So pretty level, pretty straight. Anybody who's over six feet could probably use a set of risers, but anybody six feet and other probably don't need risers. Um, I've never used risers, so, and I'm 5'11". All right, so snug down the rear or the bottom bolts first, just snug them by hand. And then snug the front ones down. Just my hand. And same thing on these is 21 newton meters, 16 foot pounds. All right, handlebars are on. We are making progress. Next thing I'm going to put back is the so called ABS switch and the hazard light switch. So that'll go right on there like that. Get them all started first. And I'm not putting Loctite on these. It's just holding this plastic housing. I don't foresee it uh, coming apart, I don't think. And then again, you never know, right? If I had blue Loctite, I would probably put blue on it. Which, uh, the blue stuff is the medium strength Loctite. I like using that on the bikes quite a bit, too, on smaller bolts. I'm just going to hand snug these. It calls for three newton meters, which is pretty much nothing. All right, the ignition switch, I am going to lubricate it with dry graphite. I'm assuming that this bike has been neglected over the years because it sat so long. So it doesn't hurt to put some uh, graphite up in this thing. And what you do is you take the key and you just want to work it. Until the lock works before I go any further. Now I know, and I probably uh, am going to get some comments on this. But I know the battery's sitting right here, and I know you guys are saying, oh my God, he's working, he's putting tools over here. The positive is covered up, but you're right. If you guys did catch that, you're right. What I should have did was I should have disconnected this battery and just taken it out to be safe. But I didn't, and it is what it is. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust these so they're in the right position for me. I don't want to squeeze this lever because the brakes and the front ain't hooked up. The caliper's not hooked up. The whole thing here is I want to be able to reach this with two fingers comfortably. You got two fingers and your thumb holding your handlebar and your two fingers operate your uh, front brake. Same thing with the clutch. Two fingers. Two fingers and the thumb stay on the handlebar so you can still control the bike. And I think I like what that is right there. So you got to make sure that your throttle works fine. All right, sometimes you can put this too close to the, to the grip and it's going to bind up on you. So I'm just going to snug this up. About three newton meters. If you want to talk it, go ahead. It's pretty much just a snug on that. There we go. Feels good. Switch is all accessible. All right. Go ahead and blow out all the switches. Well, we got a lot done today. We finished pressing those bearings in, got the triple tree on, got everything adjusted, forks it back in place, got those filled up. Uh, what else did we do? Got the handlebars in, adjusted everything to my height. 
and I don't know, all the switches are in, everything's in. So our next video, I'm going to remove that tire again because it's not in permanently yet. I'm going to do something with that disc, get rid of that rust, and uh, maybe uh, clean it up a little bit. I'll paint it black. I don't know. We'll do something with that and get the dashboard back together, hopefully. I ordered some LED bulbs for the dash lights. We'll see how that works out. I'm going to go blue on the dash lights. There's a couple of them that are burnt out anyway, so I'm going to get that replaced as soon as they come in. Then we'll get this all put back together on the front end. And then we'll get into the maintenance on the bike. So in the future, I might do uh, a custom rack for the rear. Uh, not sure yet. We'll see. Shouldn't be too difficult. Well, that's all I got for today. Thanks for being here with me. Please subscribe and like the videos and share them on your favorite social media. Help me get the word out and grow the channel. I wish you all a great day. God bless. You all be safe on the road out there on your bikes. And uh, 